Well, when my wife's up there, that's why I do yeah, sleep. I <laughs> have a tendency to snore. Copy that. Okie dokie, so helicopter's on our way down. <laughs> This place is home to me. All the trees feel like home. This is my backyard. We are deep in the Monashi Mountains, southwest of Revelstoke, BC. My parents bought the place in 1986. They ran it as an operation, and the last 10 years I've taken it over through the business I started, Canadian Powder Guides, which is just short for Kapow. Got you. I've honestly taken it for granted what it was like to be in this remote context. This place is super special that we're the only ones up here. We're the only ones skiing. It's just you and your homies in the blanket chalet behind you. The chalet was uh, purchased by our family in 1986. That's the same year that our son Marty was born, who now operates the chalet. And then Kapow eventually took over the operation of the chalet while I retired back to Revelstoke and waited for Marty's uh, rental check to come in. You know, this is my favorite place. It's the most happy place in the world. You know, you can come up here and forget that the rest of the world really exists. You don't remember what day it is. It's very simple. It's just about skiing and happiness and family. It's this like certain level of calm that you don't get anywhere else. You know, you wake up, I'm hearing like birds chirping. It's like the sun is just like easing. There's no like rush to go anywhere or catch anything. It's just like when it feels right, you put your skins on and start walking up and then you just ski back at the end of the day. It's right here. No dinking around. <laughs> Standing here next to the Blanket Glacier Chalet. Which contains one of two stalls. A hut only has one outdoor toilet, so that's what distinguishes us from uh, huts versus chalets. But it's home to some of the most amazing smells you will ever smell in your entire life. In the chalet, it's honestly like adult summer camp with a bunch of your best friends, so it's really hard to beat. Marty and all the guides have an amazing base of knowledge around just not only here, but just like snow knowledge in general. Hey guys, I'm gonna dive into the process this morning for February 12th. I get so fired up putting this like awesome tour together. We tour up a mountain, drop down the other side, and then link up the best possible snow. Not only does it stoke people out, but that fulfillment of putting the best possible day together is just like, ugh, I live for it. There's no place on earth like it. It is just totally magical, and people love it. That's why they come back every year. What's the difference between a snowboarder and a snowboard instructor? Two days. There's so many inside jokes that happen here that I cannot get on camera. You have to come up here to fully experience that. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> 